Evening everyone. Got to do a little bit more work tonight on my space mining game. So first thing I'm going to work on, uh, I'd added a message to slow down last time, uh, but I don't like how it rotates with the spaceship. So I'm going to fix that first of all. So let's have a look at the player script. What we need to do is rotate that in the opposite direction to the ship rotation. A rotation on a label. Uh, well, I'll do well. I don't know. Two D as a pivot. Ain't that a child of that? So we shall rotate. How did I do it on the asteroids? minus rotation. Should work the same. Valid set index. Oh, I'm just going to move that. That's no longer. Perfect. Oh, I need to rotate it 90 degrees to take into account the fact that everything's rotated to face up. So, should be if I just take 90 off there. That should work. actually is. Problem is uh, the rotation, it's measured in radians and I'm putting degrees in. So instead of taking 90 off, I'm going to need to take whatever 90 degrees is in radians, which to be honest, I don't know. So I'll have to quickly have a Google that.
So 90 degrees is 1.5708 radians. Give that a check. That's better. That's what we're looking for. So lead cell out the when you die. Currently, it just says you're dead in the console when you hit it at too great an angle or too fast a speed. <coughs> right. So we've got the warning sorted there for the slowing down. I also need to add a warning for when you're tilting too much because even if your speed's fine and you're tilting too far you're still going to get killed so first of all we'll draw the little some form of warning I'm thinking maybe something just as simple as a sort of warning circle with an arrow in One for left, one for right. Uh, so. Square, I want a circle. Do it in one pixel less than the sixteen by sixteen, just so I can get the center point. Maybe something as simple as that, just to visually show that they're either too far to the left or too far to the right. Right, so I'll copy that. The sprites that was created over. Should be there now, yep. Add it as a child of this pivot because we want this to stay above the ship like the text warning does. <coughs> so it's just going to be a sprite. Won't even need an animation player with this, I should just be able to set the frames manually.
this player ship still just a placeholder ship. I'm not going to be sticking with that. I'm going to design a few different ships and sort of sprites that I can hopefully have add-ons on as well. Set the logic for this up. Where do I do the <coughs> I can't remember where I actually check the rotation. Uh, so if it's minus 70 or greater than All that for now. Had a function to check the rotation. So what we'll do, we'll, if it's tilting too much to the left, then, wait, no, to the right we'll display frame two, frame one, then frame zero, and if not we'll hide it. Equals one. Uh, we'll also need to set it <coughs> true to beam. It is visible for the other ones, or it's not going to show. So I think that should work. Give it a test run. If 
frame zero, frame one. I'm sure that's how I've done it before. <coughs> Quick look back through a couple of my old projects. So I'll just do a Google. That's the wrong version of the docks. I think that must be the version for ones that I'm looking at. How do you set the frame? Is it set frame? Try that. Dave Arino, thanks for the vid. How are you doing? How's the good at Wild Jam coming on? I did so I was lurking a little bit earlier on in your vid, in your stream. Hey, the Yagic, how are you doing? Yeah, doing okay. Oh, thanks. No worries. 
I was sort of having my tea at the time, so I didn't chat, but I was I was there. Uh, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm just having a bit of a dir moment. I can't remember how to set a frame number on a sprite. I thought it was just like that. But I've tried that and that, and it's not working. So... Ah, no stress about that. Lurking's great. Yeah, I think it's what keeps Twitch going, isn't it, really? Oh. I know what I'm doing. I think I've just been... trying to set a frame on a label. So everyone that's come in, I'll show you what I'm working on. I'm currently working on a pixel art space mining game. Uh, so I've been working on it since the beginning of January, on and off with a couple of other game jams in among. But at the moment, this is where we're up to. Uh, we've got sort of a, a galaxy screen that you can fly about in, and then there's a couple of different types of asteroid fields that you can enter. Once you're in there, this is one of the places where you're going to be able to mine ores. Uh, so it's just a, an asteroid style arcade game where when you get them to the small size and destroy them, then you get left with ore to collect. Uh, so I did have a shield originally, which is now gone. Uh, it keeps track of what ore you've got. When you get killed at the minute, you just get booted out to the galaxy screen again. Uh, this, we've got two types of asteroids. We've got ice ones as well at the moment. This could change at any point because uh, I've not worked out exactly what we're going to be mining at the minute and what you're going to be able to make with it. Uh, but we've got that, and then what I'm currently working on is the home planet, because uh, I want to be able to take this all back to somewhere. Uh, so at the moment, we just I've just been adding that little diagram to say that you tilted too far. Uh, it tells you to slow down. If you land successfully, that's all we've got at the minute. I'm going to be adding in uh, next sort of bringing up a screen where you can enter a base and start depositing your ore and do base upgrades and things to be able to smelt the ores and produce various items. Nice. Cheers. Thanks for that. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're up to. Probably would have made more progress but I did three game jams in January so I'm trying to concentrate on this now for a, a few weeks at least right so we just need to get this to now disappear so visible visible should actually be switching off. I don't get why that wasn't. Let's just print the rotation and check that that's actually between those values. Actually, I think that should be greater than that and less. Yeah, that's that's working. I'm just setting the wrong frames. I 
I'll probably eventually make them a little bit more jazzy than just a couple of circles, but for now they'll do until I get other stuff working. Right, what have we got to work on next? Right, I'm going to start working when you've landed. Uh, the dialogue will pop up, pause the rest of the game and give the option to enter the base or take off again. So we need to draw something for that first. Just find the file that I use for the other UI parts at the minute and I'll try and keep things consistent. the way that I've done like the pop-ups on the other screen so I'll stick to something along those lines but I want it to take up near enough the, the entire screen so I think I've got it at 640 by 360 if I remember rightly Still finding my way around Godox, I've not been using it that long. This year's the first year where I've sort of committed to using Godot only. I've sort of been flip flopping between Godot and Construct 3 over the last sort of 12 months, and before that, pretty much exclusively used Construct 3. take 32 off each side around it get my palette Then what I'm going to do is animate this uh, just using the animation player so it just scales from the from zero from the middle up to one and then that should work fine. I may end up making that solid but for now I'll keep it as Slightly transparent. Get that added in. Let's 
keep organized. Right, that should be that in there, yep. So we've got to add a node 2D, which will be like a route for the UI. Got to make that so that that still processes when it's paused, whether it's the rest of the level one. Are you still in chat, Yagic? Because how's your game coming on? I was I was lurking in your stream. I think it was back end of last week when you were working on it. Seemed to be looking nice. Yeah, I think that's going to work better if I get rid of. Make that solid background instead. I'm also going to make it slightly bigger as well because I think it could do with being nearer the edge. Probably be an easier redrawing it.
have I got the I, f I think I put things on with different side indexes to have the explosions appearing above and below things so we'll just set the UI to be 10 so that's always on top so we'll add an animation player in here frame up here Set that to one. Make it a keyframe. Successful landing, landed equals true. Try to work out the best way of triggering that. Now we'll just duplicate that variable in here. Do that. Try to work out the best way of doing it. was keeping the all the logic separate but this player ship is always going to be just in this scene so it's always going to have this as a parent so I think I'll add a function in here that 
but remember how to actually do signals. Play a script. We'll create a signal. Called on landed. Connect it to what did I call that script? So when it lands, we need to <coughs> emit that signal. So I think that should work. Uh, let's check I've got everything set up right. do is set that UI invisible at the start of the level and then Hopefully, that should now all work. So let's give it a spin. We're landing. I've just thought this isn't meant to be the whole UI to begin with, it's just meant to be a smaller box which I'm going to add. A speech from like a little helper robot that you'll have on your home planet. We'll just create a mock up of that first. Uh, let's 
Let's see if I can find the robot sprite. So it's going to be a little sort of talking TV headed robot that you'll have at the minute. I'll animate this so that it talks when the text sort of appears. Just had some fake text in for now. I suppose I could do this all with labels in actual Godot instead of having and then just reuse these things. Probably makes more sense. changing. The quickest way is going to be Four sixteen by one seventy six. another sprite call out a speech frame give that its own animation player So I'm going to probably have the text appear as if it's like being typed, so I'll need to have a look into how to do that as well.
for the texture adding to it. Set that to the middle of the screen for now. probably do with adding an overlay to the rest of it just to darken it as well. Change that to a sprite. But no, I'll leave it as that. I'll make another child. Speech frame. probably could set this visibility in the actual animation player. Might change that in a few minutes. So we the UI of it to visible, the speech frame to visible, playing the speech frame here animation. Set that to false initially as well. So we're landing. Appeared, but the UI overlay. No, I not set the overlay to visible.
I think when I think about this, there's going to be a lot nicer way of doing this. The overlay to not be visible, then when it lands, it's not to visible. We're not playing any animation, we just want that to instantly happen. We actually don't want that to instantly happen. Just thinking about when you land, but otherwise you're not going to see the explosions properly and the screen shake. Just create a timer in here. Don't think we need to use a timer node. I normally do use the, the timer node, but I think if you can do it in code, it might be better. I think about it. I think I might just use a timer now. No, I'll go with this.
think that's in seconds. See if that works. So we're landing. Yeah, I'm just going to use a timer like I normally do. on the time of time out. Up that up. When it lands it makes the landed signal after that time has finished. Give that a try. So we're landing. Waits a couple of seconds and then opens up our dialogue. We can get rid of that print of the rotation that we're printing out down here because that's all sorted now. Where would he actually put that? So at the moment, when I land, I should be able to immediately take off again, but the UI will stay there, so we'll work on fixing that next. Yep, I can take off, the UI doesn't disappear. So what we need to do is pause the game after we've 
shown the UI, but the UI I'd left as being able to be processed in pause mode, so... landed, set all that visible and then it's get tree pause equals true. So now we can't move, but we should, once I get functionality in, be able to interact with the things in the menu script. So before we add any texting, what I'm going to do, this robot, your helper robot's going to say, Wel welcome back, Captain, something like that. Uh, are you wanting to enter your base or take off again? If you enter base, then It'll bring up the next UI. If you choose to take off again, then it'll close the UI and go set the game from out of paused and allow you to take off again. At which point, once you get to the top of the screen, I need to then add in the functionality to go back to the galaxy. So I think first of all, we'll work on that sort of route of accepting that you want to take off again and restarting everything. Deciding whether now that this is open, whether we want to probably want to control all the UI behaviour in. In this, so we'll add a script to there. Do it with a load of booleans, but I think I may end up doing it with using an e state e number. Uh, let's get it working first. So far.
so we're setting that to that. Copy a load of that because we'll be doing a lot of this in reverse. We'll add a new animation to this speech player. So this is going to start with the scale at one. Got the zero. So I think I just press trust, which is the X key or the A button on the controller. We're going to play that animation. And then we're going to set it pause to false. should allow us to take off again but it won't have got rid of the overlay which I'm going to add into the actual animation player calling function to do that. So we come into land, wait a couple of seconds, the UI appears. Press X and nothing happens. might have been that, it might have actually been allowing us to take off, but I just didn't try it because the UI was still visible. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Not anywhere setting that to true.
this code is getting a mess. It's not even trust we want him to be pressing. Call it into Galaxy. We'll get there eventually with this. Land, we know this works. Press X. Closes that. Still keeps doing it because we've not got the logic yet to stop that. So. So to hide the UI on takeoff. So at this point here, we need to add a call method track. And we want to call the one that we've just created. It's not set up properly. Try again. So we'll then call that once it's disappeared. And in this one, we want to do that. We don't want the player to be able to move until they've actually the UI is closed. least false. Do it in the order we want to do it. And we'll 
set the welcome visible message visible back to false. So let's have a look at that. We land. A little message screen comes up. We want to take off again. We're already on UI. Again, so we come into land. UI appears, we want to take off again, and we can then take off again. So that is all working. So the final bit that we want to add is the ability for the player to go back to the galaxy once they've taken off and go off the top of the screen. be relatively straightforward I think <laughs> is less than zero Look this up again because actually we'll copy it from the asteroid field. So it's going to be Galaxy. And then I think it's 
called Galaxy Scene. Oh, just Galaxy. Right, let's see if that all works now. I'm going to go from the very beginning, from the galaxy, into the gal into the home planet scene. Right, something like that already. Okay, so why is this not working? That should work if I copy that in. What do they have different? Oh, change scene to. I think it should just be change scene. Yo Johnny, yo Josh, how's it going? Just trying to get my home world sort of landing system working. So you can go in, land, then an empty welcome message comes up, which you can now no longer take off. Now we can take off and hopefully when I get to the top we'll go back to the galaxy. In the wrong position but that can be fixed later. I'm just trying to get the sort of loop of interacting with your base working. What you both been up to? Anything exciting? to it, stop those controls immediately. Nothing exciting at all. How's your streaming holiday going so far? Are you missing it? Work chores, settling down for some dev now. on the planet game. I'm presuming Josh. I still not watched the Super Bowl yet. And yeah, I have seen new ones so but I just haven't got around to it. Not yet, although this would be the first stream day since 
Yes, but Tuesdays is normally a stream night for you. Right, what am I needing to do next? Need to tidy this code up probably after the stream because it's just turning into a real mess. I'm doing triggering some things in the animation player, some in scripts, and I think I need to move it all into the animation player. I saw the halftime show, that was cool. Yeah, there were quite a few people in it, weren't there? You you managed to avoid spoilers. No, I'd seen it by I think middle of the morning yesterday. So had stuff to do last night, so I didn't get round to it last night and then been working on this tonight. From what I've read it sounds like it wasn't too bad a game. I think the Bengals nearly come back at the end and nick it. completely lost as to where I was triggering various things. It was pretty filling eye. Nah, they were nowhere close. Aaron Donald made sure of that. Cool. Not going to be streaming for too much longer. I need to tidy this code up and I can't think and I can't do that and talk. Uh, where was I calling this? this timer in here I'm wondering whether to move that into the UI yep we'll do that cut that Get rid of that lot. Have you played Heat Signature? Uh, no. What's Heat Signature? I've not even heard of it. Is it on Steam? Quite nice, that. Space log roguelike I'd reckon you enjoy. Yeah, I've got it up now. Yep. This one.
Uh, .code e, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Yeah, that does look like my type of game. Damn you, Dunny, you're not even streaming and you're still influencing me spending my money. <laughs> Uh, right, so we'll make the signal on landed, which then, is that in here? Oh, I've completely lost where I actually am with all the stuff. So at that point, that calls that, which is in this script. Sets it to paused. Uh, I really like Tom Francis, he's partly where I started game dev. I don't think I've heard of him. What other games has he made? Let's add a timer. This isn't how I'm going to do it eventually, but if I can get it working again. One shot, wait two seconds. Time out on that to this home planet scene to here. That lot gets chucked in there. Setting everything visible true when that finishes. Let's see if I broke everything. I'm feeling I probably have. Yep, great, broke it all. Uh, he done that gunpoint game. Uh, it was a PC game, a journalist who decided to make his own stuff. Uh, podcast 2 made gunpoint as a wizard, a XCOM G frame on the way. I'll have to have a look after, because I think, I think I've heard of gunpoint. That, that rings a bell.
So when the plow ship lands. I think it's because I'm setting the game to pause immediately. So I don't think that cap that timer ever actually works. Yeah, that's the issue. So is there a way I can... I'm wanting to wait two seconds so that the landing smoke effects can play and the screen shake can happen before I make the UI appear, but I'm also wanting to pause the game immediately. I suppose I could do it all in here. Let's have a go at that. Add a function to this one. Right. So when the player lands. call that function. Forget about that. Get rid of that. All that, that will copy into the UI script. shot. Two seconds, not 23, two. What earth did I connect that to? to connect it to that one. Throw that lot in there. Let's give that a go. I think I fixed it. We're actually in the UI now, so we don't need to prefix it with UI anymore.
give it another whirl. Land. Yeah, that's still not working as I want it to. I think I've done right moving this in here, but it's this. I think I'm going to have to Hey not James Aircaster, how's it going? Uh, I'm just having a, a few timing issues with my landing. I'll show you what I've sort of got at the minute. You land, you get a warding if you're tilting too much as well now, which needs some work, but it displays correctly. When you land, it opens up this. You can no longer move and take off. You're choosing an imaginary option now to take off again, and it takes off. So I'm just trying to get it so when you land and it pauses the game, to not pause the game until after the effects have done. So I think I'm going to have to add a bool into the player toggle the controls because I'm pausing the entire game apart from the things that are marked to still being able to be processed which the UI is one of those things unless I may have had a, a stroke of genius here finishing soon yeah probably Probably about another 10 minutes, I'll probably get to a two hour mark and hopefully I'll have this sorted by then. And to be honest, the code that I've written tonight is a bit of a mess. I've been doing some things in the animation player, some things in scripts and I need to put it all in one or the other. But things are working, I've, I've made some progress, so I'm pleased with what I've done. Uh, let's have a look at the script for this player. It's basically the screen shake that I want to work still and the player's player effects. So if I'm right, they're just dust and large dust. Landing dust and landing dust large. So I think if I set them to process while it's paused, they should carry on playing now and ignore the fact that the rest of the game's paused. Yes, but I don't think the screen shape worked, did it? <laughs> nope, screen shape doesn't work, but let's have a look at that. Set that to work still. That may cause problems if I reuse this camera in other scenes, but I'm sure I can 
toggle that pause mode in code if needs be. What you been up to tonight? Not James Aircaster. Anything exciting? And how's your Flappy Bird game collaboration coming on? With She Must Be Emma. Perfect. That looked to work brilliantly. Going through a code lab for dark theming in Android. Nice. We've got a landing and taking off loop working there now. I need to add some text to that box and I'm go off the screen. I need to also make it so that the player, when they come out of their home planet, actually spawns again over their home planet and not just at the random location where this scene starts. But yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for tonight. So, have a look at remembering the last location. I'll probably just, yeah, I'll just store it in uh, the game data singleton, well, the Galaxy data singleton that I've set up, and then just respawn it at that point. It's not going to be a, a massive thing. Still can't sub. No, I've not pressed that button. You've joined us. I'm just thinking about finishing sticks. Uh, I think uh, at the minute, if... If I was to try and get affiliate as well, I've not streamed six times, is it? I've not streamed six times over the last month at the minute. I think I'm only on five now, so. I'm, I may press that button at some point. Did a little bit of work earlier on my About Me section of the below the stream. I've added a few little links in there. Uh, have you not had the invite? Yeah, I've had the invite, but I didn't know whether I had to maintain that sort of level when I clicked on it, but I'm not in any great rush, really. But I, I've, I may press it, maybe in a, a week or two. Now, once you get the invite, that's it. Oh, I, I may do. I'll see. I'm still undecided. Yeah, I know my, my son got the invite. He got it, I think, the day after or day before me. And he's he's applied and he's affiliate now, but I'm still old enough. Space Miner's looking good. Yeah, how long have you been about? Uh, did you see my demo of uh, the landing mechanism that I've got working now with the pop-ups and things? Are we streams? Yeah, he does. He's... Streams mainly The Witcher 3 at the moment. He's done a bit of DBD and he's got to be streaming Elden Ring when he gets, when that comes out. Uh, I think he's streaming, he's streaming at the moment, but. So yeah, this is, I'll show you anyway. This is coming from the galaxy. If you're going too fast, it tells you to slow down. If you tilt too far either way, there's a, a little warning. Uh, but once you land, you get a bit of screen shake, a bit of smoke. Your little friendly home robot comes up. There'll be some text in here saying, welcome home, captain, or something like that. Uh, do you want to enter your base or take off again? At the minute, I've just been working on like the loop for taking off. So you can press to take off again and then off you go and then you're back in the galaxy. Uh, you can sort of, I don't know whether you've seen the asteroids lately, you can sort of go into the asteroid fields. 
blow up the asteroids, collect ore. You've got a little shield and a health bar sort of in the top left, which sort of you lose one each time you bump into an asteroid. Then once you bump into the final one, you get at the minute just booted out back to the galaxy. Uh, there's another type of asteroid. We've got ice as well. They all work the same. I've say I've not reset the shield or anything, so that's why I died first time there. And then you've got your your little home planet here that you can fly to. Hey Tweed, how are you doing? You've just come in as I am just about to finish. I was just having a quick look who to raid. Uh, so I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow night, all being well. So I'm going to sort, tidy up this code that I've written tonight and then tomorrow night uh, carry on with this base mechanic and get the next bit of the looping of where if you actually enter your base it brings up some other type of menu screen. Uh, so let's have a look who's streaming. Uh, there's Creekit, uh, he's another Godot developer. We shall go give him a raid. So thanks everybody. Damn, I queued up for Lost Ark and fell asleep. <laughs> Have you not got into that again much this weekend? Because I tried. I got in on Sunday morning, created a character. Then the servers went down and I've not even been able to get into a queue since then. Uh, but it's... I'm wanting to play it. Not much. Must be annoying because you, you paid for that, didn't you? I'm just a tight one trying to get in for free, but... Must be annoying if you've actually paid for it. But anyway, thanks everyone for dropping by. Uh, thanks .cod for the follow earlier. And um, we'll go see what Creek it's up to. Uh, so I'll catch you all hopefully tomorrow night. Uh, see you all later. signal here so we'll do how about we just do it on the the room resource so we'll create a signal called um, room changed And actually, if we do that, then we could get really explicit about, uh, we don't need to though, just yet. So then when, um, so when any, any of these go, so set, get, 